of freedoms and liberty. Joining me right now is the governor of the great state of Florida, Ron DeSantis. Governor, it's great to have you this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning. Good to see you. And we do have new worries about the Omicron variant. What have you seen in Florida? Well, Maria, first I would say that if you look at what's happened in the north in some of these states, they've had record COVID hospitalizations. That is being driven by the Delta variant. And so, yes, we are seeing Omicron in Florida and really all throughout the country. Fortunately, Omicron has not shown to produce the same level of hospitalizations uh, as the Delta variant did. Now, we'll see if that changes, but the numbers of South Africa, you know, I thought by and large were very encouraging and didn't justify the hysteria that you saw by a lot of folks in corporate media. At the end of the day in Florida, Floridians know we will not let anybody lock them down. Uh, we will not let anyone take their jobs. We will not let anyone ruin their businesses. And we will not let anyone close their schools. So people are going to be able to live life. They're going to be able to make their own decisions. I cannot believe that something that started with 15 days to slow the spread, now almost two years later, you're seeing lockdowns and closures. There are places, Maria, some of these universities, they force everyone to be vaccinated. They force them to wear masks. And they still lock down because you have uh, these cases going up. And so in Florida, people are going to be able to make those decisions. We do put a lot of emphasis, unlike most states and certainly unlike the Biden administration, on early treatment when people do get infected. And it's not just unvaccinated, like they like to say. Our monoclonal antibody clinics that we set up across the state, the majority of people that go to those are fully vaccinated, high-risk people. And so since we've rolled out our monoclonal antibody clinics, you know, we've had one of the lowest hospitalization rates uh, in the country. So we're going to continue focusing on early treatment, and we're going to continue protecting people's individual choices and freedoms. Governor, a federal uh, judge in appeals court on Friday allowed uh, President Biden's vaccine mandate for private employers uh, to take effect as New York and California are reimposing these mask mandates. It looks like this is going to the Supreme Court. Uh, you recently uh, talked about that monoclonal treatment from AstraZeneca, right? Yeah, well, first of all, on the OSHA mandate, I thought it was a terrible decision. Now, this is just a three-judge panel. I thought the whole circuit in the six would certainly have struck this down. I do think we're going to get positive relief from the U.S. Supreme Court on that. But, Maria, what we did in Florida is we didn't leave it to chance. We passed substantive protections in a special session uh, for Floridians so that they are able to have generous uh, ability to opt out of these types of mandates. And so we feel like we've done what we needed to do to protect our employees. I think it's important from a legal and constitutional matter that something like the OSHA mandate not be allowed to stand. They reached back decades, found some statute, and are using that to force vaccinations. That's never been done in the history of our country. And so I think it's a massive expansion of federal power that goes beyond the Constitution. So we absolutely need to win that case at the Supreme Court. And yes, we had another monoclonal. Uh, this is more for preventative, for very high-risk people. You take it, and then you have about six months of really good protection. And we should be talking about all this stuff. All you hear is the same stuff about masking and lockdowns. Uh, we should be talking more about early treatment. Fortunately, in Florida, we are. Uh, but that has been a huge problem for the last year year when we've had available treatments and they've not been touted by the powers that be. Yeah, I mean, Governor, we're not even sure what fully vaccinated means anymore. The other day, Dr. Fauci said, you know, we could be that uh, fully vaccinated means three shots, which is two shots for the vaccination and then one booster shot. Have you gotten the booster? So uh, I, I've done whatever I did, the, the normal shot, and, you know, that at the end of the day is people's individual decisions about what they want to do. But these boosters in terms now, Florida, we don't we ban vaccine passports. We, we won't let them fire you, even private businesses over this, because we don't think that's appropriate. But one of the reasons why we took those steps is because we knew the definition of vaccination would be a shifting target. And I predicted this a month and a half ago, and people said that, that I was wrong, and now we're starting to see it come to fruition. So there's going to be people who've done you know, maybe two Pfizer shots who are not doing booster, and they could be considered in certain parts of the country to be unvaccinated, and then denied the ability to participate in society like everybody else. 
it, it's gone way, way too far, and that is a decision that people should make for themselves, but they should not yeah. have their rights, freedoms, or liberties restricted based on these boosters. Governor, I want to talk about the incredible economic performance that you are overseeing in Florida. You just recently did your budget. You, you were a, an attorney in the U.S. Navy, and you know all about what has happened in terms of jobs in this country because of these mandates. We are losing first responders. Tell me about the 50,000 job opportunities that you've talked about within your budget. You just uh, recently uh, passed your budget, and you're obviously a smaller budget than New York, but you've got much more success at the end of the day. Walk us through your budget. Well, first of all, November job report nationally, about 200,000 jobs nationwide. In Florida alone in November, we did over 50,000 new jobs created in Florida. So that's over 25 percent of the total job output just in, in one state. Uh, my budget is about $99.7 billion. I mean, you mentioned New York. New York's budget's like $230 billion. And yeah, I think most people that come here would say we have better roads, infrastructure, services. Our K-12 schools perform higher. We have the number one rated public university system in the country. And we do all that with no state income tax and, in fact, have the lowest per capita tax burden in the country. And we have over $15 billion in surplus revenue. I mean, just think about what Washington's doing by printing trillions and trillions. Uh, we have over 15 percent of the amount of money we're spending um, in budget reserves. And so that is something that's setting up Florida for the long haul. Yes, we have less taxes, and that's part of the reason people have been drawn here. But I think, Maria, since COVID, people know in Florida their freedoms are going to be respected. People know they can invest here and not have their businesses shut down. People know that they're going to be able to get jobs here and not potentially be forced out based on mandates. And so I think the fact that we've really stood for freedom, in addition to having good tax and spend policies, uh, has really caused people to want to come uh, work in Florida. And we, it, we're producing more jobs per capita than other states, but we have hundreds of thousands of job openings because the economy you know, is performing well. Uh, Governor, before you go, we're about to talk with President Trump. We didn't, uh, we don't know if he's going to definitely run in 2024. Will you be running in 2024? I just filed for re-election last month in the state of Florida for governor. So if people want to support that, go to rondesantis.com. We think it's going to be um, in an important race. And so that's, that's been my focus. I got 22 and a half million people, Maria. And on every given day in this season until probably May, we probably have 25 million people in this state with the tourists and the snowbirds. So we've got our hands full and we're looking forward to a successful re-election next year. Well, we are just back from Florida, and I could feel the energy in the air. Congrats to you. Good to see you, sir. Thanks very much. Thank you.